It's currently the 29th of December and I have two days to fully glow up because when I tell you since Christmas, I've literally been just chilling. Like I've not looked after myself. I've let my nails grow out. I've not really been doing my skincare and I, oh my gosh, I'm gonna do a full glow up routine for the new year because I really feel like I wanna feel and look my best going into the new year. Cause I, I don't know, I feel like there's just some sort of like fresh start in that. But I'm also going out for New Year's Eve as well, which means I need to look 10 out of 10 for that too. So I'm gonna be doing my nails, I'm gonna be doing my lashes, my brows. I'm also getting a little kitty wax. And I'm doing like a full glow up. I'm also thinking about changing my hair because I'm just feeling like it's looking a little bit limp at the minute. I might do quite a big change with my hair. I feel like I need to cut all of my dead ends off. I'm gonna cut my dead friends off, my loose ends off and my dead ends. So yeah, that's what this video is gonna be. I hope you guys enjoy it. I really enjoy watching these videos and I enjoy filming them obviously because I get all of these treatments done. But first things first, I need to go and sort these nails out because these were my Christmas nails. I don't know whether they are very Christmassy but this was the most I wanted to do. I'm definitely gonna stay short because me and long nails, we just don't click, you know? So I'm gonna definitely stay short, but I do want them kind of special. So I'm sure my girl Christy will do something with these. And then I also have my brows and my lashes today and my wax which probably is the worst one out of them all. My car's currently getting its MOT, which is very, very inconvenient, but I'm just waiting for my Uber and I've just realized, oh, it's 11.11. Everybody make a wish. I've just realized that I've not eaten and I hate going to hair appointments, nail appointments without eating because I'm literally sat there, my stomach's growling and I'm just not having a great time. So in my nail appointment, we took the green off and then we decided that I wasn't gonna add any tips. We just applied a layer of acrylic over my natural nail. She filed them down a little bit and then we did this really cute like silver tip and I feel like with short nails it's really hard to or like it's harder to get like cute designs on them but I think this little like silver melted Frenchie was such a cute vibe for New Year's Eve so she put this like foil on I don't really know how she did it I was just chatting away but I think it looks really cute and I don't know I just I really like short nails on me I just think they're so much more comfortable and yeah, I'll definitely stay with short nails for a while. So that's one job out the way. I'm now going to get my lashes and brows done and also my kitty cat, which I have been growing out. So hopefully we get a really good result from that because I remember the last time it literally took ages to grow back. So really excited about getting that done again. It does hurt a little bit, but not as much as you would think. I did used to have lash extensions. Oh, by the way, I have picked up my car as well, which is why I'm in it now. Um, I did used to have lash extensions, but I'm kind of over like heavy lashes. I much prefer like the natural look. So that's why I get my lashes LVL'd now and I much prefer it. It literally just looks like you've got really, really good natural lashes. So I'm gonna drive there now. It's actually my best, oh, okay, there's a car behind me. It's actually my best friend who, does my lashes, brows and wax, which is obviously way more comfortable than just a random stranger doing it. But if you're ever in Manchester, you need to go and get a massage at Beauty and Bubbles because really and truly, it was the best massage I've ever had. But yeah, this is gonna fall down, so I'm gonna go, but I will see you at the salon. This lighting always literally. Oh yeah, you like this lighting, don't you? No, it's bad. Oh right, sorry. Sorry, I'm gonna have to film from this angle because it's literally horrendous. <laughs> Um, Emma's gonna take off my mascara and I've got some brow pencil on as well and then we're gonna do, are we doing it at the same time, like the LVL and the brows? Yeah. 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 Are we waxing brows? Threading or waxing up to you. Okay, I'll let you decide. I think you'd be better with threading to be honest. Yeah, because you, you've got quite sensitive skin on your eyes, haven't you? Yeah. I've got loads of like really fine hairs. Do you know what I mean? So threading would probably be better. Threading? Yeah. I have no idea what this looks like, but I know it does not look cute. <laughs> <laughs> what is this bit? It's just lifting your lashes onto the shield. Oh. I'm putting your lifting on now, the smelly bit. Oh, this always makes my eyes water so much. Sorry. No, 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 it's okay. Eyes. It's such a weird feeling, isn't it? Yeah. 
It's just better. It just gets all these fine little hairs away without making your skin red. Why does that look terrifying? I totally forgot to film this morning without makeup on. But this is my lashes and brows with makeup on. I'll show you it without makeup at the end of the video, but... It's honestly so low maintenance, like, the only reason I put makeup on is because it's new hair day and I genuinely cannot go to the hairdressers without makeup on because I don't know what the hairdressers do to their mirrors, but they distort you, I promise. But this is my lashes with just mascara on and honestly, like, even waking up this morning, my lashes looked like this, just not as thick i guess and then my brows i've literally put a little bit of brow pencil through them but they pretty much look like this this morning today is new hair day i'm literally just about to make a protein shake and then i'm gonna go and suddenly i'm so nervous because i feel like it's a pretty big change i mean i've got my hair up at the minute i'll show you my hair before and after of course i mean my hair's my hair's just a little bit limp at the minute it's all one length it's got loads of split ends that I've been reluctant to cut off because I've really enjoyed my hair long especially since taking all of my extensions out but I'm gonna go as short as I need to go just to have all of my dead ends cut off I just want fresh hair that I can grow out in the new year um but I'm also thinking I'll show you a picture I'm also thinking about getting a 90s car. Actually, a TikTok I saw. Let me show you the TikTok instead because it's way better. I feel like I just want a little bit more like body and volume in my hair because it's just so like boring at the minute is the only way I can explain it. So like this. Like how gorgeous does that look? Maybe not as short as that, but that's definitely like... I'm, I'm just going to show the hairdresser that TikTok and be like, make me look like her, please. But I'm honestly, I'm so scared. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Sorry, I'm going to make this protein shake because I'm running out of time. But I feel like worst comes to worst, I wear my hair like this most days anyway. So, I mean, I've not actually washed my hair in a whole week, which is embarrassing. First, I've not got any ice for my protein shake. So, I think I'm going to add some frozen berries in there. Even though it's chocolate, but I feel like chocolate and berries go. I actually remembered today to eat something before my appointment. I'm not starving, which is why I've gone for a protein shake. But I know by the end of it, I'll be pretty hungry. So, this is going to tide me over. I'm going to set off in 10 minutes. I'm actually going to walk there. It is raining as well, but it doesn't matter that my hair's going to get wet because it's going to get washed and blow dried just arrived and we were both on the same wavelength which i'm so excited about so this is my hair before it is quite long now um but it won't be for much longer i am having quite a bit cut off but i'm so excited okay guys yesterday i really needed sorry this is very close but i want to explain i needed a quick second to actually get used to the haircut because i mean to you this probably looks no different but it was quite a dramatic change for me so I mean, she looked so much cuter yesterday when she was first blow-dried because obviously I've slept on it now. But, oh, that hit me right on the funny bone. This is the new hat. She's making me very excited now. Like, this is it kind of exactly what I wanted. It was a little bit shorter and, I mean, my little side bangs are shorter than I thought they would be. But, I mean, look how thick my hair is now. Now I've had all of the disgusting dead ends cut off i really want to change up my whole style now like i want to start dressing a little bit grungier and i think that's the that's the best thing like you can literally reinvent yourself to whatever you want to be and i don't know it's just a form of like for me the way i dress and the way i have my hair the way i have my nails is all a form of expression and i mean the silver nails with the black hair and the little bangs i feel like i just want to be a Rick Owens girl. <laughs> I love it. Like, it really did take me just getting used to it. And I kept looking in the mirror last night like, oh my god, Manny, I don't know if I like it. But, I mean, even wearing my hair up, like, when I wear the little pieces down, I just feel like they frame my face so much nicer. And it's got so much more body. It's not as, like, limp, which I didn't like. Um, but, yeah, I have no idea how I'm going to style it. I'm even thinking today. Let me come and sit down properly. I'm even thinking today I'm going to go and buy 
maybe like the Dyson Air Wrap because I feel like that will be able to like style this hair really nicely. But I'm also going to go shopping and buy some new like skincare, makeup because I think one thing that I definitely want to focus on next year is really looking after my skin and my body. Okay, me and Manny have just got back from shopping and I really said I want new makeup, I want new skincare, like I've got so much new products to try even though it is kind of risky trying it on the night i'm going out i'm gonna fully trust these products because i have heard quite a lot of good things about them so yeah i'll show you what i got this is a foundation that i've been wanting to try for ages i picked up the nars soft matte complete foundation the only problem was that there wasn't a color that I loved so I picked up Stromboli which is way too light well it's not way too light it's just a little bit too light for me especially because I've still got tan on which I really wanted to tan in this video as well just to like show you what I do but I feel like because I tan just before Christmas I definitely don't need to do it again and yeah it'll just look way way too overboard so I picked up Stromboli anyway but I'll probably have to mix in a darker shade with it but I tried this on on my hand and it literally looks flawless like it looks so smooth i'm really excited to try this this evening i also picked up a kylie eyeshadow palette so this one was actually one of the christmas ones but i love her eyeshadows like i've never actually owned one of her palettes but i've used hannah's before and they're always so buttery and good so i'm going to use that this evening as well i also picked up a kylie blush this one's in like a a peachy shade which is probably like my go-to kind of color so the lashes that i was literally obsessing over on my vlogmas vlogs this is the kiss lash in bustier and you'll see these lashes later they're literally so pretty and give you that real it's not the doe-eyed look it's the other ones it begins with an s and i can't remember the name but it literally gives you the sexiest looking eyes ever oh my gosh they're unreal. Um, what else did I get? I got some makeup wipes, some grips. I got this dark brown um, magic touch just in case I wear my hair up and don't want my receding hairline on show. I got some bubbles, some paracetamol for tomorrow. There's needs to stop doing that i also picked up a face scrub which this is actually what i wanted because i don't have a face scrub at the minute and you know when your skin just feels a little bit clogged up i felt like i needed some help so i picked up this one by peter thomas roth um i think this is also a face mask so and it smells like pumpkin so i was pretty much i was sold on it and then i'm also gonna put a face mask on as well like one of these sheet masks this is the dr jart's intensive skin barrier moisturizing sheet mask and i was thinking if i'm wearing a matte foundation which is the nars one i'll definitely need to hydrate my skin but oh my god i forgot i got this i got the charlotte tilbury face powder in the shade fair and this is just to go under my eyes because i remember i had this ages ago and it literally made my under eye look so flawless but i broke it of course so um i've just picked up another one of those also got a clear claw clip because now my hair's a little bit shorter i feel like it'll go in a claw clip really nicely like how cute is that oh i've showered i've put a face mask on i actually used the scrub as well and let me tell you 10 out of 10 like so worth the money it made my skin feel so smooth and so ready for makeup so i've just put my face mask on i'm deciding how to have my hair because i didn't end up washing it because to be honest i prefer styling like day old hair anyway but i don't i'm not going to take it out in case it gets in the hair mask but i don't know whether to just have it down whether to have it up with the two pieces because the pieces just like frame my face so much nicer now or do like a half up half down which is probably winning at the minute the dress that i think i'm wearing is long so i might just put a little bit of like a body foundation on just up top because like i said i did do my tan before christmas eve but it's faded a little bit and i just want it to look a little bit smoother all over if that makes sense so i'm gonna use my fenty beauty um what's this called i think it's called like body sauce um and i'm just gonna go over my body with 
this iconic London brush. I feel like the hair and makeup actually turned out really well. I still just don't know what to do with this hair. Like, I don't know how to style it yet, but it's just something that I'm probably going to have to get used to and, like, trial and error in the new year. But this is the outfit. This is, like, the whole vibe I've gone for. I really just... I don't know whether I'm going to change my hair or not, but, I mean... I feel like it looks okay. This is my makeup. I think it does look a little bit light. I'm not sure. But other than that, I really like the eye makeup. But this was my full little glow up before the new year. I just wanted to say a massive thank you for your support this year. Honestly, it's been probably one of the hardest years of my life. And having you guys has been honestly like such a blessing for me. I love you guys so much. And I will see you in 2022.